Greetings, true friends. Today I want to elaborate upon the incel question and uh, female hypergamy and the sense of entitlement modern women have. So it's a very deep question. I'm just gonna paint with a very broad brush here and try to bestow some wisdom and enlightenment upon you all because this is obviously a interesting topic and a very alarming topic, especially if we're talking about the well-being of Western civilization. So first and foremost, we need to correctly identify that female hypergamy is something good um, in nature, at least, and is something that is perfectly natural. And men are also hypergamous. We obviously want someone who is genetically a good match for us so that our offspring will have hopefully better genetics than ourselves because things such as beauty, intelligence, they will be of great help when it comes to the evolutionary game. So anyway, the problem in the modern world is that females, they are all going for the same kind of guys. Back in the day, 300 years ago, the Tanner's daughter, she knew that she had a choice of four or five different guys, maybe. She could marry the uh, miller's son, for example. She could marry the local farmer's son. She could marry the fisherman's son, etc. But she never had any delusions of marrying the prince. And she was content with that. She was perfectly happy with going with a man who loved her. They raised a family together. And she never thought, oh, I wish I could be with a prince. Because she knew that that was not her place. She knew that her place was to marry someone within her own social class. Someone who was um, roughly her equal, so to speak. And obviously, the princesses of the time, they were hypergamous or their fathers were hypergamous in their stead. Obviously any nobility wanted his daughter to marry as high up in the hierarchy as possible. And in order to do so, yeah, the virtue of a woman was very prized. Uh, I mean, you had to be a virgin to uh, get a good uh, match. Unless perhaps you were a widow or something like that. So virtue, very important. Beauty, obviously very important. And these uh, noble women, they were no... Uh, slouches, they were all studying really hard to be a good match so that they could help their husbands who perhaps had to run an estate and needed some help with that. So obviously these women, they were good in a lot of ways. And if you compare that with modern women, how many modern women are reading books? No, they're not because they're busy being on their smartphone, scrolling through whatever social media. Uh, so the point here is that the princesses of old, they had a lot of qualities which enabled them to be justly hypergamous. So they had everything, they checked off every box um, in the list and then they could choose, okay, this is a good match for me, a certain prince or a king or something like that. Obviously not always something to do with love, but uh, that was the way it was at least. And today you have a lot of women, all have been taught by society that they all deserve the prince, they all deserve Prince Charming, whereas they don't have the same virtues and qualities that the princes of old had. So they're not virtuous, they're perhaps not as beautiful, they're perhaps not as intelligent, they're not uh, perhaps as educated. And educated I don't mean a course at the university, I mean real education that you actually know something that you can contribute to uh, a high capacity man. So there you have the problem in its essence. Back in the day everyone knew their place. All women know, knew that they could choose from a group of men in their social class in their local community. And the men knew also that they had a few choices in regards to um, fair maidens and then you know their families did some dealing back and forth. Today in the individualist society you don't really have a community which uh, helps you with that. So you have to do that yourself. It's a free for all. And uh, yeah, the uh, 2080 rule, it uh, does apply. Obviously, all women are you know, aiming for the top guys. Um, the problem is that most women aren't realistic in that. That uh, most women do not deserve Prince Charming. Despite them having been told so their entire lives. So my argument is the following. That women were happier back in the day because they settled for something that was reasonable. So they didn't spend all too much time dwelling upon the fact that they wanted the prince. Because they knew from because they knew from an early age that this was not going to be the marriage for them. They were gonna have to settle for less. And uh, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a good way because they were probably much happier in that regard than most women are right now. So yeah, there you have it. Female hypergamy. 
in uh, nature something good obviously you want your female relatives to aim as high as possible and uh, you also want to help your female relatives become as attractive to high status males as possible so if you have a younger sister you can talk to her and say you know what um, this is perhaps some things you could think about when it comes to attracting high status males uh, so instead of spending so much time scrolling through social media you should perhaps try to learn something become a bit more interesting because uh, yeah, I'm very sorry to say, not sorry, the majority of women, the absolutely majority of modern women, they're not all too interesting. And I mean, if you can't have a interesting conversation with a woman, uh, then you probably want a woman you actually can have an interesting conversation with. So uh, for any women who are listening to this, absolutely, try to uh, educate yourself, try to read a bit more, try to be someone who can talk about more things than uh, makeup and hair. Um, although that can be interesting as well, of course. Uh, I'm not saying that you should neglect your female um, hobbies, etc. Because that's uh, perfectly natural too. But I'm just saying that you should be able to contribute with more than just your looks. And then obviously for all incels who are in this position, uh, yes, nature looks this way. Females are hypergamous. But here's the thing, females want to go up in status. They don't necessarily want someone who is uh, the prettiest, most uh, ripped model out there. Uh, they can settle for someone who has a good income, has a good social status, all these sort of things. So do not spend all too much time worrying about your appearance, saying, oh, I'm not beautiful enough to get a girl, like I talked, with, um, like I talked about in my previous video. You can do things to increase your status so that women so that women will perceive you as a good match anyway. So uh, don't lose hope. That is not a uh, good idea. And uh, again, if there's something that I can just assume that women do not find particularly attractive is someone who constantly worries about the approval of women. So instead, be a force of nature, be out there, uh, go after your goals and uh, do not fret all too much about how unfair life is. Life is the way it is. We are in a bad situation, which is called the modern world. We don't have the luxuries that um, our forefathers had 300 years ago. Then uh, basically everyone got a wife handed to them by the community. Um, same thing, the, uh, the woman itself got a husband handed to her by the community. Obviously I'm painting with a broad brush here, but it was easier back then. It's much harder now. It is what it is. I am not happy with how many things in the modern world look, especially when it comes to, you know, the social dynamics of things. But uh, we have to adapt ourselves to the situation, make the best of a bad situation. And yeah, what can you do? Basically, what I said in my last video, try to improve yourself as much as possible. Try to get a higher social status. And what do I mean with that? Yeah, that you should be a valued male member, that you should be seen as someone who is who's reliable, who is a man of honor, that you have the respect of other men. And when you have the respect of other men, females will see that and say, okay, this uh, this guy has the approval of other men. That must mean that he is uh, you know capable of also providing for a family, etc. So to uh, conclude, yes, female hypergamy it can be good. It is definitely natural. Uh, the problem is in the modern world that people no longer know their places. So therefore they have unrealistic expectations of what kind of guys they can get. So thank you for watching. XOXO. Boom.